Okay, traders. Uh, bit of a different looking video this time. Like I've changed the angle for the camera which is recording me. Let me know if this is better than the previous one. Um, well, let me know if more of me is better <laughs> in the videos that you've been watching every single day. Thank you guys so much for the engagement on the previous videos. Um, it really helps me. Uh, it really feels nice uh, to look at those engagements coming on those likes button, subscribe button. So just hit everything, all right? Just smash everything, and let's just proceed with some with some uh, discussion on Bitcoin. In fact, I mean, I I got some really interesting thing to show to you guys. Now this indicator right here is the Bitcoin three fifty. Day DMA 350 DMA. Now you can just simply search it over on indicators. You'll get it, and you pl you plot it over the three-day time frame right here. You can see you can see some certain interesting things happening on the chart as we are most likely getting into the mania stage for BTC. Last time we uh, wanted to get into the mania stage, like last time we were actually violating this uh, simple blue line to the upside. We just simply who went 450 percent to the upside like this was a parabolic phase like the trigger point for parabolic phase is about to happen for bitcoin i mean do not underestimate the power of btc btc would go to 300,000 way sooner than you think uh it's, it's just funny how to it's just funny how uh, things have been extrapolating themselves but uh, well these are the facts in front of you uh the last extreme extreme gigantic maniac phase was something like this as we um, as we simply rejected any prices below this uh, particular uh, blue moving average i don't really know which moving average is this but the, this indicator is kind of interesting to encapsulate what long-term picture is for bitcoin so this one right here i mean closing above this led us to uh, led us to a crazy move of 600 percent now last time we started closing above it yep another 500 percent so we are there we are quite there now if you want to be checking out how history repeats itself well the history cannot just repeat itself just like that like it can't be a carbon copy of everything right so last time uh, we rejected this one we came back and we tested this um, uh, pink line over here i mean i'm now yet again i don't know which moving average this is but it looks to me like this is a simple projection uh, off of the basis uh, off of the bull market trending support right in the between so uh, well last time we retested it then we started the real mania phase so it seems to me like this one was a macro flagging out structure i mean btc was flagging out on 30,000 and 40,000 zones i mean this is a crazy crazy ass pattern formation right here and um, kind of retesting this line right here and maintaining the 21 simple on the three day time frame as well the thin line is the 21 simple and quite irrelevant on these macro moving averages but yep we had that retest and then we just simply we did not we never stopped man we we, we did not stop like um let's just talk about one more thing uh, coming off of the retest of this particular area right here we went around a thousand percent to the upside now thousand percent coming from here is going to be around i don't want to talk about it <laughs> um okay so what to do hodl your bitcoin stack satoshis i mean yeah this mania phase is just starting off and probably if you even if you start cost averaging into bitcoin on these levels you're fine you're going to be fine uh the momentum has just started p uh, picking up and well your risk management is always going to be um, um uh, around the thirty thousand thirty thousand dollar regions and if you violate thirty thousand to the downside on three day closures then we can talk about bitcoin coming into long form of consolidation and basically more time to accumulate more satoshi so that would be good news right until then i mean uh there's not much incentivization for this one to actually start going down and this right here being a pretty important thing to happen for bitcoin i mean let's just let's just let's just uh flip the financial system don't like we, we are to, <laughs> institutions are going to be obligated to actually step into bitcoin uh because of one simple thing uh let me just uh actually get into the other chart right here i had to talk about this short time frame as well but before that um btc how, how do you get the bitcoin capital yep the bitcoin market capital is around a trillion dollars guys i mean we are making goddamn history man i mean bitcoin market cap being around a trillion dollars man I... okay um coming in from bear market i mean not giving much time at all like after we went above this institutional selling interest around eleven thousand uh dollars on bitcoin where the uh total gap for bitcoin was 225 billion dollars as soon as we left it there was simply no selling interest coming in from the big players and everybody was uh, looking into buying the dips so loud look what has happened like look where we are at right now because of these situations anyway so the first uh, psychological resistance could be 
a um, hundred billion. So now that does not mean that Bitcoin could go there and start dumping its way down. I mean, um, last time we surpassed such numbers were 10 billion and surpassing 10 billion on market capital just simply led us to, well, you know what happened. Also, 100 billion was also one of the key areas of significance as we kind of had support um, throughout, like for the most part of 2018 right here. So this one right here being one of the key uh, macro support for Bitcoin market capital, which would also mean that it's going to be a support for BTC spot price action as well. So this one served as a support for about a year. And if we surpass this one, well, this one, we did not even touch it. I mean, 10 billion marker, soon, just like, what kind of percentage is this right here? Like 3000 percent. Um, could that happen? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know the amount of capital which is just lying um, on the sideways to just on the sidelines to just simply get into Bitcoin and increase its total market capital. Anything can happen here um, as most of the institutions would start picking up Bitcoin. Tesla being the forefront. No, micro strategy being the forefront and Tesla purchasing same amount of Bitcoin at these crazy levels. I mean, well, micro strategy played the game very precisely very nicely right at the institution sell interest i mean they were buying right here so uh, extremely good trade for that entire um, um publicly traded company as well i mean pretty interesting so see those things so institutions are stepping in and after after a trillion dollar in market capital that's going to turn a lot of heads around that's just going to simply mean that we at least at least at least 2x on the market capital i mean um not there in fact let's it's somewhere over here i mean I, I i don't see much stopping right here for the for the for the relative context right here as we broke above the 100 billion marker we went 236 percent to the upside all the way at 339 billion dollars if we simply try to encapsulate that kind of move coming in from this kind of breakage to the upside a 400 percent move to the upside is somewhere going to be around well three to four trillion dollars now that four to five trillion dollar marker on bitcoin total capital is something which a lot of people have been eyeing out on um on on various different assumptions and theories so five trillion market capital for btc could be could be one of the potential area of interest i mean it's just crazy to talk about these things um it just happened so fast man um well, uh, I think, yep, we are making our way towards one trillion. Just watch the price action, how it behaves around a trillion dollar, uh, around a trillion dollar market capital, because we could certainly have some volatility coming in these zones. All right. I'm going to jump into the extreme small time frame uh, price action coming in at Bitfinex right here. Um, we're kind of making, uh, <laughs> we're making history. Is that what we are doing actually? Okay. So uh, simply jumping onto the four hour time frame. Now this right here is a simple flagging out pattern. I mean, you get, you're getting constantly supported. You're getting bought. Look, you're not getting much more time to buy, but you're getting time, a lot of time to sell, right? That means the interest, the, the, the greater interest lies towards the buying. Like, you know, up, people are eyeing more towards the dips uh, coming in all the way at 44,000 and then at 46,000. And then finally yesterday at 48,000. So you can start managing your risks around these levels right here. Uh, the first one being this one and the second one being this one. Basically a stop loss, not a financial advice. None of this is a financial advice. You lose your money, you are going to be responsible for it. I'm not going to be responsible. I'm not going to pay you anything, guys. I mean, come on, come on. Would you pay me if you profit out of it? <laughs> think about it, think about it. All right, okay. So this one right here being, uh, you could argue that this is, yep, this breakout is real right here. Uh, we have closed the candle above it. Now what we want to see is we want to, open and a closer as well. So this one was a close above it. Now this candle should like and, a, and, and the preceding few candles should be a few closures above this diagonal trending resistance here and the volume being not that good on Bitfinex. In fact, I mean, I'm sure Binance must have had good amount of volume for this breakout currently in the morning hours. Um, but um, as far as we are maintaining this structure to the upside and we are closing candles above it, we are good. We are good for BTC to go all the way at 60,000. I mean, there is no psychological stopping. I mean, 55K as a top, like, no, I, I nope. Like, what is 55K? Like, what is 50? What is 60K even for that matter? I think we go to 100K. I mean, uh, the time, uh, the timeline and the time horizons is something which nobody can predict, but I think it's pretty much obvious by this time, like 100K is a certainty now. It, it, it is a certainty now. You can get some certain chops in the in the way when we go towards those points. But uh, for the time being, I don't see any much stopping. I mean, yep, you can look at some potential profit taking for the short term for 
uh, 55k zones but you are ultimately going to be headed to a 60k 60k btc won't that be nice the rsi uh, is also in fact breaking this grind this is like a three day long grind i mean okay not a three day long grind this, is, this has been a good good grind like coming in from wow coming in all the way from 32000 dollars you're you're leaving this grind zone again and you're going you're breaking the 60 on rsi on 4 hour time frame now these things are going to be extrapolated into the other time frames like 12 hour alarm. let's see what 12 hour rsi is doing simply simply maintaining its posture above the 60 moving uh, not the moving uh, 60 marker on the relative strength this this certainly means strength i mean why the heck not you 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 just staying above 60 on rsi on 12 hour time frame yes your 12 hour time frame is basically on trending mode um look at this stochastic rsi snake in around like had you been shorting on every single cross you would have been wrecked all this range like all this while so when the momentum is actually up and when the stochastics are actually maintaining their postures above 80 let's just say there is no need for short that the shorting on the market there's no need for selling um it just means strength and it could just simply snake around for a lot longer than you would expect okay uh now well this structure getting resolved to the upside now Terra gonna be closing pretty soon uh and if we close like this this is gonna look good for continuation move to sixty thousand dollars sixty thousand not a far-fetched one right now i mean unbelievable to see these numbers happening in front of my eyes but yep sixty thousand not a far-fetched opinion as of now uh which would which would certainly extrapolate into ethereum and litecoin and Chainlink as well i mean most of the crypto market could start having another leg up guys this fucking bull trend this this never gets tired right i mean the capital influx is just like insane what kind of fomo are we dealing with these things do not want to take any rest they don't want to consolidate i mean you did have some good amount of consolidation on bitcoin for about a month but as soon as we broke past it there was just no stopping guys there was this yep uh, this is the kind of interest you're looking at on crypto markets i mean uh, but certainly go step by step just kind of manage your risk and for this particular breakout right here you know your invalidations invalidations at 48k basically 12 are closing below 48k would lead to uh, 45k and ultimately testing this low right here um let's see what happens let's see what happens um, um bitcoin being almost a trillion dollar in market capital i don't think that there's going to be much wiki wick price action until we are just simply over leveraged on these numbers and the entire market is playing on margins um, then yep a lot of people would want to take exits on crazy as dumps which could accelerate any move to the downside so uh being staying cautious in these environments is something really be a bull pretty cautiously be a cautious bull all right be a bull but be cautious be alert stay stay alerted all right stay alerted i'm gonna be here updating you guys nonetheless and well i think this is pretty much about the bitcoin update for you guys i hope to catch you guys pretty soon on the next one dropping pretty soon bye for now